This is Discord in 2025. So much stuff is going on on my goddamn screen. It's a nightmare for anyone that doesn't have a god-tier gaming computer. But these features of avatar decorations, profile effects, and a new shop page are all currently in development by Discord as we speak. And also just keep in mind, this stuff is in development. Discord is probably going to change it, so don't get your hopes up. But the first thing I want to look at is avatar decorations. Now these are two experiments, but when you enable those experiments and you go to your Discord profile, you will see this new tab here, avatar decorations. Now there is a, a a very scary symbol, this one here, exclusive to Nitro. It turns out this might not actually be the case as you'll see a little bit later, but when I click on the change decoration button, you will see this menu here where you get to change your decoration. Now it is divided up into two categories. We have my decorations and we have shop preview. My God, you already know what's about to happen, but you will have my decorations, which are unlocked by default, but then you have a shop preview, which shows you decorations that are currently available in the shop. Now, while I'm talking, you'll see a whole bunch of avatar decorations pop up. You can look at that because that's like subway surfer footage. But I'm going to tell you we're in for a microtransaction hell with Discord. Because all these decorations that I'm showing you seems like they might be a limited time thing that you will need to purchase. And you're going to purchase it through Discord's new shop. And also, you see this fart one here? This is actually a good reason to buy Discord Nitro. So anyways, let's talk about the shop page because it actually has quite an interesting backstory on how it's being developed and basically how we have no idea what the heck is going on because the shop when i first heard of it it looks something like this now this was back during discord's eighth birthday so march april may it's one of them i'll have the date up on the screen but during this time discord was experimenting with their own shop and the way that it worked is that if you had discord nitro at that specific time you could claim certain avatar decorations and this means that if you have nitro throughout the whole entire year then you'd collect a whole bunch of avatar decorations and feel good about yourself but then it changed to something that's even more confusing and even more kind of gross in terms of microtransactions and if I scroll up here we'll see this banner new avatar decorations check out the latest avatar decorations in the shop available for purchase with nitro so you need to have discord nitro to get these avatar decorations and then when you buy discord nitro you need to buy avatar decorations and just to really rub in the consumerism hurry before they're gone this felt like the biggest cash grab on the planet but that discord might have actually pulled back a fat w here because here's the thing discord recently changed the shop to kind of be like Discord's old sticker shop system. Now, I'm going to assume you don't know, but back in October 2022, Discord stickers used to cost money. In this case, we have this Wumpus Nitro Elite sticker that was completely free with Nitro. You didn't have to pay for it. There was also another sticker pack where if you had Nitro Classic, you'd get it for free. But if you didn't have Discord Nitro Classic, you could buy all those stickers for a one-time cost of three dollar dues. Seems pretty reasonable. But when we get to the very exclusive, and I mean the exclusive stickers on the planet, the Among stickers we look down here you have a cost of two euros and 45 whatever they use i don't know but above that we see another price that is discounted with nitro and it turns out that discord's new shop update this is the third one by the way it says this collect what you want shop the latest avatar decorations and it's discounted with nitro so this is exactly just like the stickers it's cheap when you have nitro or it's full price if you don't and it seems like that's going to be the case with avatar decorations and one thing i want to point out again is hurry before they're gone. Artificial scarcity, baby. Limited time item. Now, just to make it clear how early in development this whole thing is, you see this little picture here. Well, it turns out when I was looking and researching this feature on Discord previews, where I usually get all my information from, link in the description, they had a little thread, and someone found this Vecdeasy link, and when I click on this link, it goes to the art that is in Discord's kind of shop page. What does this mean? Well, this is placeholder art. Once again, I'm just highlighting that this is in development. Things will change. Now, if Discord shop thing goes well, then I think they might start branching out into weird different ideas, maybe something like sound packs. But one thing that they are for sure working on that might be in the store is profile effects. When you click on a profile, you will get this lightning effect. And the way that it works is that if you go to your user settings, it's just like adding a theme to your Discord profile, but instead it's a profile effect. And you already guessed it, it is a Nitro only feature. Now, before I click change effect, just be prepared. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of effects that, you know, if you're light sensitive, be advised. Look at all these effects. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Uh, there's actually nothing because this is once again so early in development that Discord hasn't even like filled out the rest of the effects. So the only one that we can see now is this basic lightning feature. Now this lightning effect is extremely excessive. 
<laughs> extremely. It is nowhere close to the word subtle at all. And I really wish I could show you other profile effects, but they just don't exist, or they're not available for normies like me. However, someone did make a concept that I really want to point out. Once again, this is a concept, but it's just a very nice subtle border expansion animation. It just looks nice and clean. And I really hope Discord adds more subtle effects, because the last thing I want to do is click on someone's profile and have my computer f explode. I don't know if that's just me, but if I'm on a potato computer and this thing starts popping up, it's over. And even if you have some super gamery gaming computer, what if you're just a depressed, chronically online basement dwelling loser like myself? I hate having fun. My main question is, is there going to be a way to turn this off? Because this is <laughs> really goddamn excessive. Now, to be honest with all these features, it reminds me of something very near and dear to my heart. Steam, baby. This is my actual Steam profile. That's why everything is completely censored, because I don't want to play games with you. I barely play games myself, but as you can see, I'm a man of culture. My Discord profile is so revolting that my friends think I have brain damage. And I do, but I find this stuff ridiculously cheesy. And I actually kind of, I don't kind of hate it. I actually hate this. This is awful. My profile is awful. But I do want to point out that Discord having this is kind of a good thing, and I don't know how I'm spinning it this way. But personally, I'm not going to spend my ice cream money on this stuff. I'd rather just buy some good ice cream and become obese. Now, assuming Discord Store has these effects for purchase, there's going to be someone in this audience that just loves this lightning strike absurd... I, I don't even know what to call it at this point. But someone's going to buy this thing. And that's a good thing. Because for me personally, I hate spending my money on Discord, but if people keep buying some pointless stuff like this, and they're completely okay with buying it, then Discord will stay the way it is. An ad-free platform. Yes, there might be weird stuff going on people's profiles or weird avatar decorations, but for me, I don't have to see ads. I only have to see these annoying profiles, if anything. So with Discord adding these microtransactions, it might be a good thing for us cheap people, because that means this platform stays just a little bit more sustainable. Now, in terms of Discord getting even more of your money, it turns Turns out they have a new experiment regarding merch, and it adds this new merch tab, where if you click on it, it'll lead you to Discord's merch webpage, and I'm gonna be brutally honest here, give me a couple more months on Discord and I'll become so much of a degenerate that yes, I will spend $65 on a hoodie. And finally, one last thing you could spend your hard-earned shekels on. Well, not yours, you'll probably get your grandma to buy this, but it turns out that Discord might be uh, putting gift cards on Amazon. If you go to Discord support forum and you search up Amazon, you'll see Nitro Gifting. Okay, that doesn't mean a whole lot. Give me the details, boy. Well, it turns out Discord edited one of their articles here, and this is a big, massive changelog of stuff, and basically, uh, let's just zoom in and go to the important part that'll make my point clear. But down here, there are tags for the article, and we can see that Nitro Basic was removed and replaced with Nitro Basic, but it was also replaced with Amazon Digital Gift Cards Digital Gift Cards. So maybe in the future, you could go on Amazon.com and you could search for your Discord Nitro Gift Cards, and you'd be able to buy Discord Nitro gift cards on Amazon, just like Apple gift cards or Roblox gift cards. That might be coming up in the future. Anyways, I was preoccupied with buying something else on Amazon, so I'll continue with that purchase. I'll see you all in a little bit and have a good one. I love you. Mm -hmm.